Ooh, damn, we getting fancy now. All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine. As you can tell, I am not in Dallas or Louisiana. I am in Chicago right now for my sister's Walima. And I spent 15 hours in a metal box. Um, so I spent 15 hours in a car driving all the way over here. So my skin has been inside of like a claustrophobic area for the entire day. And I'm excited to kind of just wash it. And I want to show you guys the stuff that I've been doing because I started getting back into my routine of skincare and i've noticed like such a big difference in my face maybe you might not be able to see it on camera but in real life my skin is doing so much better than how it was in the beginning of ramadan also dude check out the autofocus on this boom 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 yeah i'm using a new camera called the sony zv1 i love this camera so so much so all right i never did a skincare video before so bear with me if i don't look like i know what i'm doing because I probably don't know what I'm doing, but first I need to remove all jewelry. Okay, so because I'm traveling, I wasn't able to bring my big CeraVe hydration uh, cleanser. Usually that's the cleanser that I use, but whenever I travel, I use this. It has a vitamin C in it and DB cleanses your, your skin and whatnot. This is probably my go-to travel uh, cleanser. If not, usually at home, I use my CeraVe hydration uh, one that helps like remove makeup. I don't wear makeup but i wear like a tinted sunscreen sometimes don't forget your sunscreen dude if you want to age like fine wine make sure you're wearing your sunscreen because that's really important we're gonna cleanse all right face is wet now i read somewhere i think it was on tiktok or it was online that you have to rub the skincare products into your hands at least for a good like 10 15 seconds before applying it to your face you can't just put it on your face straight off the bat because there's the ingredients inside of your skincare that need to activate before and at first i thought it was like kind of bs and i was like oh yeah that doesn't really make any sense and then i started doing it you know and specifically for my facial cleanser it just it feels more foamy and it feels more like it's actually getting to work so it sounds dumb but whenever you guys are washing your face make sure that you foam it up um, on your hands before. Ooh, there's like a mirror right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh, damn, we getting fancy now. <laughs> Let me wash my face. Okay, I need to wash this off. Let me talk to you guys a little bit about my skincare journey. All right, so growing up, I was always like, athletic and I was always playing on the field. Uh, I grew up kind of like on a farm with horses and chickens and goats and a lot of ducks and whatnot so i spent a lot of time in the field and i didn't really care too much about my skin growing up around the ages of like 14 15 and i started to develop really really bad textural problems on my face like you can even see maybe right now i still have some hyper some hyperpigmentation because i used to i used to pinch a lot of my blackheads and my whiteheads i never really struggled with acne in itself the only type of acne that i really struggled with was cystic acne cystic acne is the worst because it's not on the surface of your skin it's like underneath the surface of your skin so when you go to pop a pimple you're like pressing at the surface you're pressing at your skin and it's like this gigantic bulge and it explodes like you ever see those videos on tiktok where it's like this gigantic like mine on your on your on your forehead or on the person's like body and they're pressing it and then it explodes like I'm gonna throw up some pictures over here so you guys can kind of like get a better, better understanding. It was disgusting. So that was the type of acne that I had because my skin barrier was just so broken and it was so bad and so damaged. So I remember the first ever like skincare product that I ever used and ever like invested in was Proactive. Proactive was really, really famous growing up when I was like 14, 15. And then um, I kind of remember I think Kendall Jenner, she would like promote it on her stuff. Um, so I started using Proactive and that helped a little bit. But I, when I really went to my dermatologist and started getting frequent, uh, visits with her she put me on tretinoin which is something that i still use today i bought this one from um sephora it's like a retinol i it was recommended to me by skincare by hiram if you guys know him from from tiktok um he said to use this under your eyes so some days when i want a more like under eye focus i'll use this other times this is what my dermatologist um, prescribed for me it's just your basic tretinoin it's like 0.05 percent and you only use a pea size because this stuff basically what it does is it helps at least how i understand it it goes into your skin and really helps push out 
all of the dirt. Before I use the retinol, I'm going to use a hyaluronic acid from Bliss, which is this tiny little bottle right here. It's a hyaluronic acid with amino acids. What this basically does um, is it hydrates the hell out of my face and I'm going to do the same thing that I do with my cleanser. I kind of like activate the ingredients and put it all around, get it all over my face. I do it even make sure I even put my skincare on my ears and my neck just to fully feel like my entire face is actually really getting covered. Because I remember I used to tend to only do like my cheeks, my forehead and whatnot and I would miss like this entire area of, of my face. And, I started developing like acne and pimples and like clogged pores and all around my ears. That's because I would stop here. I've cleansed, I've hydrated, and now I can finally use a pea drop of this retinol. That's all that I need. I only use like, and then I just, in all honesty, retinol is probably my absolute favorite um, product when it comes to skincare because it's the one thing that really took my skin to a completely different level and it continues to do so. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to not have retinol in my skincare routine. Okay, so I recently came across this other product that I've been using for only three days and I kid you not, it's created around for men, but I think all women can use it because I was reading the reviews and this one wife bought it for her husband and she started using it because she saw the effects of how good it was for her husband. Basically called the good, it's a multifunctional serum from Caldera Lab and it is uh, a lightweight serum that's designed by bringing clinical science with natural ingredients and sustainable business practices. It's like a super serum for your face, that's kind of how I see it and I kind of just take a full dropper emulsify it because it's like an oil but honestly at nighttime I don't even care how oily I look because it's nighttime you know this is like when you're able to do what you need to do for your skin to look best during the morning you know so Put that on there. Also, important things to, to, to take away while you're using care is like be gentle on your face. I used to, I used to rub the hell out of my face, but now I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. So that absorbs super, super quick, and the hyaluronic acid just helps lock everything. Every product that you put into your face after the hyaluronic acid, it just. It, <laughs> All right, let me show you my next step, baby girl. Okay, so the next thing that I use um, after that is this it's and a collagen. peptides and collagen serum from Derma E. I use it maybe like two, three pumps, not too, too much uh, because this is also an expensive product. And the thing about having expensive products in your skincare routine, it's like, yeah, you buy it once, but don't abuse it once you buy it. Maybe have, yeah, I, need to use the bathroom. I use it minimally because here's the thing, guys, your face is literally the first thing that someone pays attention to when they meet you, you know? If you're, whether you're on camera all the time or you're going to interviews or you're going to school, your face, no matter what industry you live in or what industry you work in, your face is literally your brand. So take care of your skin, take care of your health because it's the first thing that is going to show and it's the first thing that's gonna shine in front of other people when you meet them, you know? And when you're confident in your skin and you're confident in the way that you look, you become a lot more confident in how you present yourself in front of people. You know, that makes sense? So collagen is like the elasticity in your skin. It's literally like the youthful glow, I think. I hope I'm explaining that the right way. So sometimes you can be deficient in that and your, 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 your skin can kind of look baggy, it can look a bit like aged or whatnot. That means you need like a peptide or a collagen. One product that I forgot to mention in the beginning that I'm not, I don't, I didn't use tonight, but I usually use, and this is probably the second most important thing that I use in my skincare is a really good exfoliator. So this is, a lot of the things that I use are from Derma E because that is just what goes best with my skin. I've used so many other products. CeraVe is also a really, really good one. I use their hydration cleanser, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I use this microdermabrasion scrub. This thing, wow, it smells like a bag of lemons. So you know that thing where it's like when, love, when, when life gives you lemons, what do you do? You make a freaking dark or demarbation scrub. So I take like a pea sized amount of that and I just go crazy for like a minute or two and then I wash it off and the next day my skin just has like this immense crazy amount of glow. I'm not using that tonight because I only exfoliate once a week. I think it's a bit overkill if you exfoliate more than once a week. But the next thing that I use is 
another Dermat U product. It's like the anti-aging cream. After using the collagen peptides, my skin kind of feels like it's a bit too heavy. So I don't really like going too, too heavy on these. The main, the main things that I really focus on my skincare is the cleansing portion, the retinol and the hyaluronic acid. Those are like the main things. And then the moisturizer that I'm gonna to get to after this. All right, my camera battery died. I don't know why that was really weird, but we're going to continue because the show must go on. All right, the main thing that I use to lock in all the moisture at the end is this simple little product right over here. It's a little cocoa butter. Quite a little cocoa butter ain't hurt nobody. Haley Bieber said that if you don't look like a glazed, a glazed donut, you're not doing it right. You know, I'm always meeting people throughout the day. I'm like catching up with meetings, catching up with friends, taking calls, filming things, running to studios, running to photo shoots, or like whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing. And then finally, at the end of the day, it's like such a good transition also for you to kind of turn off your cell phone and spend time with yourself in the mirror. It's like this action of you actively doing something to make yourself feel better and try to make yourself look more like beautiful you know and i'm a guy right i grew up with three sisters uh who were all into skincare growing up so you know me as a guy if you're watching this as a guy as well or a woman don't feel bad for being into skincare don't feel bad for having like an extensive seven to ten step like nighttime routine for your skincare you know? i'm gonna end off using this nice little gua sha tool i finally got one of these bad boys at the end of the day it is your skin, it is your face, and like I mentioned earlier in the video, it is your brand. It is what you are going to be meeting with other people. When you go shake someone's hand, they're not going to look at your hand, they're going to look at your face. When you smile, they're going to look at your face, you know? So don't feel bad about taking care of your skin because at the end of the day, you're going to be looking a lot better at the age of 50 if you build up habits to kind of do your skincare now, you know, you know what I mean? So it's important because the skin is our biggest organ in our from our body. And um, I have a lot of friends that never really took care of their skin when they were a teenager and now they're like early 20s like me. And they're coming to me and they're like, yo bro, what do you do for your skincare? And that's exactly why I'm making this video. So if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. But that's kind of like my entire gist of how I take care of my skin. I use Aquaphor for my lips before I go to bed. I'm recently getting back into going to the gym now and because Ramadan is done, I can start reclaiming my health and whatnot. So that's also one of the series I'm applying for my YouTube channel. Um, so if you are new here, please subscribe. We're almost at 300,000, which is absolutely insane. I remember like last year, we just started off this YouTube channel and this entire year or the entire last year has been absolutely astronomical and i cannot stress enough how like blessed and how happy i am for you guys to be a part of my life and for me to show you guys these cool things in my life 2022 is going to be an amazing year for me and i'm just really excited to kind of bring you guys along but i'm gonna sleep like a baby now because i was um i have a big day tomorrow my sister's getting married and i need to look fresh mm -hmm.